When I sketch, I enjoy having the drawing evolve and then I'll determine what the format will be around it. So when I talk about a format, many people like to use the word box. So basically, these are the four formats I would be looking at as my options. Portrait, portrait turned on its side is simply a landscape, square, panorama. Panorama can also be a vertical. But these are the four options that I would look at, either a format or a box. You can choose which one you seem to like the best. Here's a square. The way that I start is that I begin with the most interesting part of the drawing, and then I start to move out. When the drawing is about two thirds complete, that is when I'll determine the format. I don't start with a format or a box and design within it. And that's just never worked for me. Nor do I feel like I have to fill the entire page with uh, the sketch. I, I rather enjoy the white of the paper. Here you can see it's a panorama. This is a square and you can see that things often will break out of my format. Um, I enjoy that look. It creates a bit of a design that feels quite strong. And here's one where, again, you can see things are breaking out. So how do I determine the format? Well, I'm gonna show you a neat little tool. This is a dry erase marker. Um, I don't care what brand, I use them all. Doesn't really seem, I don't have a preference. And then what else I use is a kind of a plastic. The plastic can be um, more of an expensive acetate or something as simple as a sleeve cover that you would find in binders. So as I start to look at this design, and also a good tip, I end up putting a piece of tape on here because on a table, it's really easy <laughs> to not be able to find this. It just um, kind of vanishes. So let me get this in the center of the screen. And when we talked again, let's think again about the formats I was talking. If I was gonna put this into, let's say, a portrait to start with. And you can see I am breaking out the format here. Okay, when I look at this, can you see the division of space? There's a long L here, a rather triangle, and a small triangle there. All of a sudden, this has a design feeling because it's not just floating in the middle of the page. Just use a napkin, Kleenex, keep it dry, and then you can just wipe it off. So once we did the format of the portrait, now I can look at landscape. Eh, I don't know if landscape is gonna work too well, but we'll try it all the same. So kind of interesting, fun. It gives a nice weight on the bottom. So there's our option number two. What is number three? I'm gonna go with the square. So square would just be a little bit higher. And watch that. Don't begin a line at the end of a line. So I've gotta come above or below. So I'm gonna come above, come down, touch. Equal on all four sides is what creates a square. So you can see how that looks different too. So once we've gone through three, then we're gonna look at number four. Remember what number four was? Panorama. So right away, you're gonna probably say that won't work. Well, don't be so sure. Go through all of your options before you decide. So I'm gonna start here and let the bottle just go out at the top and bring it all the way down. it down this side and over and surprisingly look at that panorama turned vertical actually is probably my favorite format um, of the four so breaking out on one two three sides ends up giving it some nice weight now I'm talking about a sketch that might be troublesome once you move out of a sketchbook and you're doing paintings 
but in a sketchbook, I really enjoy playing with these ideas design-wise. You can see you know, how nicely that wipes off. So looking at a couple more sketches. Here's one that's more horizontal, but let's, um, yeah, let's take a look at this. So what would your first guess be of the uh, format you would like? So this is how I do a sketch. I start with the subject matter. Once I'm about two thirds done with the drawing, then I determine the format. Always do the format before I start to paint. So first one I'm gonna look at here is going to be, you see how that kind of ends on a funny place there? Remember what I said earlier? So I would probably move it over a little bit this way. So I'm not ending on that point and like that. So there's a square, kind of fun, interesting spaces, small, medium, and large that overall kind of give it a nice feeling. So is it my favorite? I don't think so. I'm gonna look at another one. So from here, I'm gonna look at the landscape format. But what about if I just let that poke out of the side, bring it up. Oh, maybe I'll bring it through the top of the bottle this time, over to here, down. To me, I like that. Uh, I like the division of space. I like the little shape over here. Um, not bad at all. And if you decide you wanna look at panorama, you can just take the top of it off of here, maybe just bring it down low and across and over and see how that looks. Maybe I'll even move it over a little bit further. So, looks like a top of a desk actually. So design-wise, kind of fun. Which is your favorite? Mm, I'll let you decide that one. So once I get to this point, then I would paint it. So looking through a couple more sketches, you know, you can see once in a while, I do fill the page. Often things still break out. And taking one subject matter, doing it in two different formats. So we've got the panorama here. We've got the landscape here. And then have fun with it. What you'll notice here is even though I have the format, it's done with words. So I'm using the words to create the square. Even though that's kind of whimsical, it still is a format. And then using the panorama as a text box. So hopefully this will give you some ideas of better ways to design your page. And the very simple use of this acetate. Inexpensive overlays or you can pick up something that's a little bit more expensive. I don't really think it's necessary though. Clear matte or the um, wet media, I don't think it really matters. It doesn't need to be expensive, just a nice um, tool to keep tucked away to design better. Hope that was helpful.